thanks for attending to reporting Cordoba to Tyson. I'm going to how we uh, ported Ty Tyson. My name is Paul Plaquette, and I am a senior software engineer, uh, and I'm working at the Intel Open Source Technology Center. Uh, I will talk first about uh, the relationship between Intel and Cordoba. After, I will say a few words on Tizen, on the Cordoba port, what is the current status of the port, how you can get more information, and as a conclusion, what are the next steps. So uh, Intel and Cordoba. Intel uh, is acting through its open source technology center. We are here to uh, develop open source components uh, to maintain and to develop uh, all this uh, as open source. We want to be a long-term community of uh, the Cordoba community. Uh, we had our division sign the Apache CLA. Uh, we are doing event sponsoring as of today. Uh, there are several engineers uh, involved. Uh, they all sign the uh, Apache individual uh, contributor license agreements. We are going to become contributors and eventually committers. Uh, we are involved in several platform ports, Tizen, of course, but also Windows 7 and Windows 8. <laughs> and we are interested in the Cordoba build system, uh, commercially known as PhoneGap build system. We're interested to leverage your Cordoba application portfolio, and uh, this is obviously to attract uh, developers to Tizen, that is a new platform with not yet a device. <laughs> Let's say a word about Tizen. Tizen is a Linux Foundation project. It is initiated and uh, supported by Intel, OTC, and Samsung. We have a small but growing community of developers. There is a, Tizen is a web runtime based on using WebKit. It is enriched by a set of uh, web APIs from W3C, Cronos Group, and others. For example, uh, there's uh, some um, Apple extension of the viewport. Um, and also Tizen device APIs, which are the fruit of a collaboration of Intel and Samsung. It is quite similar to Cordoba, actually, and to uh, web W3C uh, DAP API. There are no native APIs, uh, as it is a web runtime. Uh, developers can develop applications using HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and jQuery, jQuery Mobile, and we build a set of collections of, of Tizen UI widgets, collections of Tizen widgets, uh, to build a user interface. Currently, we have um, a first version of the Tizen SDK that is built on using Eclipse, Rapid Interface Builder, that is a, a, a GUI builder. Uh, Web Simulator, that is built on Ripple. And uh, we are using Cremu as a device simulator. Of course, all the Tizen is available as source code. Let's talk now about how we did the port. First, we uh, started to, uh, to port using the legacy API of PhoneGap, but when we contacted Brian, um, he told us about the new architecture of uh, Cordoba, so we did it. It is mostly a shim layer, uh, that choosing uh, adapter on proxy design patterns. It relies on uh, Tizen web APIs, and currently most uh, uh, Cordoba APIs are covered, and there are still no native plugins, as Tizen do not have native code. Uh, what is the ground status of report? We have. Uh, uh, a first release that is already in the repositories of uh, Apache and GitHub. Uh, the Tizen specific documentation was added and uh, we follow the new format for the platform repository that is Incubator Cordoba Tizen. Uh, hereafter, you have some a few links on the repositories. <coughs> the coverage of uh, the API on Tizen, uh, this is the part that is covered. Uh, you see that you are using sometimes W3C API, sometimes Tizen device API, and sometimes HTML5 uh, API. Oop, oop. This is what we do not cover yet. Events are partially covered because we do not know, for example, how the applications are going to interact with the, um, uh, with the hardware, <laughs> about keys, hard keys and we uh, do not uh, support yet camera and capture. 
the team involved in porting Cordoba 2000 were composed of three people, uh, all uh, OTC engineers, uh, Christophe Guiraud, Régis Merlino, and myself. How you can get more information? You can get more information by following uh, Tyson community, Cordoba community, and uh, a few various groups I put here. Uh, Tyson.org website, there is also the Tyson mailing list, Cordoba mailing list, Apache Cordoba website, and we have the new Intel OTC uh, website that is uh, 01.org, and uh, uh, it already owns a 01.org Cordoba page. There's also the Tizen Association, that is an industry consortium. Uh, several companies interested in doing uh, things with Tizen. Um, and Tizen Expert, that is a news website around Tizen. What are the next steps? First, we will have to fully uh, pass the mobile spec test. We want to integrate the Cordoba build, uh, aka phone gap build system. Of course, we are going to uh, follow the new Tizen SDK delivery. Uh, the next delivery is planned uh, in fall, so it is very soon. Uh, we are going to follow Cordoba evolutions, particularly versioning. <laughs> we are going to reconcile Tizen and Cordoba evolutions as needed, uh, because we are on top of Cordoba, uh, in the middle of uh, Cordoba and Tizen, and we do not know uh, until something is released from Cordoba or Tizen what is we are going to have on up, up and down. <laughs> and uh, in the next version of ESDK, we may have plugins, native plugin support to add on the uh, port uh, that we did. So that's it. I finished. <laughs> Thank you very much.